Today, I want to talk about two essential questions um, that pertain more directly to me and the ambiance that I like to create in my classroom. Those two questions are, what lights my fire? And what keeps the Energizer Bunny going? It's very important to create a certain ambiance in the classroom for students. And it's important for you to understand the type of students that I serve. I am in um, my 23 year experience has been in all inner city schools. One of the questions I asked my students um, as we engaged in an activity this year was how many of you have ever attended Starbucks? Not very many. So their experiences are very limited. And so I have to ensure that I create those experiences for my students. So when I say what lights my fire, I love to see the aha moments on my students' faces. I like to see their growth, and I help them develop that growth. The other piece is through activities. I must engage them through many activities, and so I must prepare in order to do that. And what does that preparation entail? For me, I have to make sure that I'm in constant training, never close my doors to learning because I need to hone in on skills and get to know my students a lot more. And what keeps the Energizer Bunny going is creativity, because I like to have fun. So as I speak to you today, actually I'd like to do it this way. As I speak to you today, I'm going to give you the life in the room of Ms. Greer. I'm handing cards because I'm going to ask from the audience, oh, just tell me what's on your card. And I'm going to describe the activity that we do in my class. So they may be haphazard. Pass one over, please. They may be very haphazardly given to you. But I will do my best to try to describe the ambiance, the environment in my classroom. Who would like to start? Sure. The New and Old Testament. The New and Old Testament. We have two Bibles. One Bible allows us throughout the year, it's the very small book, and my kids named it. Throughout the year, we're learning new material, and we're doing various activities in this book. It's the homework book. Many teachers say, oh, I can't get my kids to do homework. My kids love the idea, we have the New Testament. As we come after spring break, we go into the Old Testament, because now we've learned all of our material from August through April, and now we're in our Old Testament, and so we're reviewing for our state assessment. Who's next? Sure. A day on the town. A day on the town. Our students don't like word problems. They really don't. They have a hard time with word problems. They don't like to assign their variables. And so a day on the town, when they walk into the room, we're set up. We go to the movies. We attend the restaurant. We make sure we go over to the mall. And then we also go to the grocery store. What am I teaching? I'm teaching systems. And as I teach systems, my children get to experience. At the restaurant, they receive drinks. Over in the mall, they get popcorn. Over at the grocery store, there's fruit available. And then the last one, there's four of them. The movies, they get popcorn. And so it's the ambiance that gets them to begin to attempt an attack the word problems, it's all about ambiance. Who's next? Yes. The study buddy. The study buddy. Throughout, <laughs> throughout um, the class period or throughout the school year, we create um, the formal word for it is an interactive notebook. And what we do is um, we create all kinds of foldables, hands-on activities, and as we're doing lessons, taking tests or quizzes, we can flip through our study buddy book. And it's called the study buddy because in my classroom, we're always in pairs. 
That's a hard task because at the beginning of the year, I have to teach social skills. And as I'm teaching social skills, and it's much like the presenter we heard earlier, we have to begin to learn to work together. And it's doing that, the study buddy book relaxes them. They're cutting, they're pasting, um, putting problems together, and creating their own perspective of what the concept is. And so we create the study buddy book. Next. Movie and video night. Movie and video night. One of the things I like to do is the, uh, we show videos to introduce concepts. And as we introduce the concepts, children love to see the quadratics. And when they do quadratics, they see videos on the satellite dish. They see videos about umbrellas. And so it's their seeing the, or seeing the math in the real world that helps them to receive the knowledge that they need. So it giving them the experience of Seeing the real world, I use discovery learning uh, and discovery education videos. I do a lot of YouTube searches, and so I have a lot of rap songs that actual other high school students have done, and that mo motivates my students to attempt to begin to um, do spoken word as it relates to creating um, their, their concept knowledge. Next. Yes. Clearview system, confidence. Confidence is a key piece for our students. They lack, and you heard it earlier, they lack um, the knowledge to just get forth and do the assignments themselves. And so they struggle with doing the problems on their own. And so with the Clearview system, I start very early in the school year, and by the time I finish, they're at the whiteboard on their own. With the Clearview system, a lot of times students sit at their desk, and as teachers, we can't really see what they're writing, but yet we're up lecturing to our students. And so I prevent that. With the Clearview system, it's a little small whiteboard. And on the whiteboard, they work their problems, and I can roam and comb the room, and I can see their thoughts on paper. So it allows me the opportunity to see each and every student and give feedback on the spot to my students. That is most valuable for, our, for um, children today. They need to know right then on the spot, where's my error? Can I, what can I do differently in this particular problem? Oh, I didn't do this right. So as I get them to build confidence through the clear view at the board seated with themselves with the partner next to them, by this time now in the school year, they're at the, uh, at the whiteboard, the smart board, and they are flying and, and attempting to do the work themselves without me. One more. Star Olympics. Star Olympics. Just before we take our star assessment, and we've done all of our learning, and um, that is our state assessment test, I spend three weeks in review. And we do also, I know there's a card out there called Station Rotation. And what we do with that, is our kids are able to present their knowledge through station rotations. So each station they go to, there's a different activity. And by the end of the uh, class period, everyone's getting medals, um, receive all kinds of prizes. And I do this for a three-week period. And so it allows for the students to be able to um, get some true gratification uh, out of their experiences. I didn't hear Greer's Cafe, and I'd like to present Greer's Cafe. Greer's Cafe, um, we do it almost every six weeks, where the students come in, and they're seated as though they're on a date. And I do that because I would like to teach social skills as I'm going through and teaching the mathematics. And so when they walk in, they have the play candles uh, with the battery lit candles. They are having those discussions with one another, rather it's on inequalities, rather it's on solving equations, but it's forcing them to begin to talk. The music is a playing, and they, by the time we finish with the lesson, they're up and they're doing what we call spoken word. They create their own um, poems to present to the class based on the knowledge. So I'd like to leave you with this, is that as I work with my students on a daily basis, I tell them, 
you know more than you think you know. As we finish and we work together, I always say, you got me? And they say, yes. Or better yet, can you with me? Clap twice, you got me? You got me? You got me? So I want them to know that learning is not difficult. It's a fun experience, and we must create that ambiance for our students in our classrooms on a daily basis.